Hi everyone, I'm Laurie Polina and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is entitled, The Event, Our Transfiguration, Healing the Human Taurus. And a Taurus is an energy flow system that is a primary pattern that nature uses for life on every scale. And it is a self-contained system, and I'll show you with this example, where the energy flow rides along a central column. It emits from a central point, is shot up to the top of the sphere, rides diagonally down along the sides, and is reintroduced to the base of the column where it rides back up and begins the cycle again endlessly. So it is a self-sustained system. And you might wonder how that relates to the human body, but with the coming event where the frequencies will rise to the point of us transcending our egoic structures, we will be, you might say, released into the wild of interdimensional inter interplay with others. And the Taurus is a self-sustaining system, so it is basically our wetsuit to function in this stream of, of interplay. So it's to our advantage to work on reinstating it now so we have what it takes to function in this higher frequency of love. So I'll begin reading this transcript, which can be found on my website, soulselfawareness.com, and I'll have the link down below for you. And I will also put out a guided meditation in the week to come, but today I'll just mention what a meditation practice can be like in this talk. Okay. The event, our transfiguration, healing the human Taurus. It is my aim in this series of talks about the event to give a practical understanding of what it takes to migrate as an individual from the darkness and separation of the third dimension to a more populated realm of universal love and interdependence. To make this journey requires us to purge the dense emotional trauma of fear and doubt our bodies have suffered on earth, as well as to shift our na navigating mechanism from mind to heart. Only then are we capable of consciously reestablishing our birthplace among the stars. At the moment of our transfiguration that the event foretells, each incarnated soul will emerge from their dense outer shell or container, psychologically transparent, telepathic, heart-directed, and capable of truly giving and receiving love. In order to take this final step, we will need to reactivate the human Taurus. This act of remembering will equip us to maintain our individuality as well as our energetic boundaries in this new harmonious state of interrelation. The coming event can be seen as a caboose of a train that is now entering fifth dimensional territory. By the time it arrives at the station, many of us will be off that train, settling into the landscape of a new earth. I believe most of us are now capable of reactivating our energetic Taurus, and this simple visualization and meditation will help reestablish something that is not only a universal system, but is our birthright. In its design, the human Taurus is a self-sufficient system of energy, like a snake biting its own tail, continuously being sustained by the God of our hearts or the Creator. A Taurus is a closed energy flow system driven by its energetic core or heart connection at source. At its center, a Taurus sphere directs its energy stream upward and outward, diagonally in all directions, enveloping its own spherical root 
downward along the sides and is then drawn up from its base to the core only to repeat this cycle endlessly. This self-generating driving force for humans is the heart. Located at the center core column of the spine and is best visualized as gener generating and being maintained by the in and out cycle of our breath at the bottom of the heart to the top. To feel this physically, we can take a deep breath, hold it and imagine our hands in a prayer position at our hearts. Then on the exhale, extend the hands upward out over the head, splitting their root outwards and down along the sides, only to join them together at the front of the torso. Finally, complete the sequence by deeply breathing in and raising our hands in prayer back up to the base of the heart. This would be one revolution. Our aim with this inquiry and meditation is to consciously reestablish the human torus flow to heal our ability to truly give and receive. In our long history as a species, we have been educated and programmed to shut it down. And in so doing, we cut off receiving what we need. We are also taught to seek outside of ourselves for what we need and want, like expecting a mirror to give back what we reach for. When our systems are shut down, as it is in most cases, we seek from others what we can only get from source. When our system isn't flowing properly and the energy is disrupted, it ultimately weakens us, causing dependence on others at best and an addiction to them at worst codependent instead of interdependent. Further issues arise when our human torus is malfunctioning or not in use, namely its natural protective shield or immunity collapses, compromising our resistance to fear and doubt, as well as enhancing our reluctance to stay open to receive. When this self-sustaining system is flowing properly and the shield is strong and healthy, it can be seen as an abiding faith, trust, or well-being, allowing us to feel safe to blossom in our expression, nurtured, supported, and protected within the borders by our own connection to source. A Taurus works by providing our needs and desires as when in meditation, we consciously send with love and gratitude our intentions or requests for guidance upwards and out using our breath in prayer to source, starting with a deep in-breath within our heart. Then on the exhale, let this intention circulate up the central column and out over the body's torus field. As it flows back down over the sides with gratitude on the inhale, we consciously receive our granted requests, guidance, and its supportive love up the central column to the heart. Committing to this conscious practice through daily meditation will spiritually, emotionally, energetically, and physically renew our relationship to our higher self on the giving end, as well as reinvigorate the atrophied receiving end of this two-part system by clearing the log jam in the lower half of the central column, which is clogged with fear and doubt, the path of receiving will be clear to function. Once circulation is restored, the immune system or energy shield of what can be regarded as faith, trust, and well-being will come online, protecting us from drowning in fear and doubt. At the time of the event, when we are inducted into the full cosmic force of the fifth dimensional vibration of love, only a practice or habit of faith will keep us afloat. In these high frequency waters, the toroidal flow acts 
is a self-inflating inner tube that provides sustainable definition. For the torus is the shape of an inner tube or inflated ring. In the fifth dimension, we transcend separation into the congregation of souls, like lowering ourselves into the direct current or stream without the definition of a vessel. They are supported by the functioning human torus. We are then distinguished, self-sufficient, directed by our passions and sustained by our heart's connection to source. We are now elevated above fear and doubt as only a human healthy torus flow will provide. Here, all together, our participation will be inspired by our heart's passion and will be orchestrated by the coordinating energies of love, sustained from within ourselves. So I hope this has helped understand the necessity of creating an arc for this frequency flood that the event foretells. And I will put out a guided meditation in the next few days. Until then, I would love to hear your comments down below. I would also appreciate if you would subscribe to my Lori Polina YouTube channel. I give sessions over Skype for a donation, and I also am a QHHT past life regression therapist and or technician. And so feel free to reach me. I'll put my email down in the description box below. And I will see you in the coming week. Have a blessed week and don't forget to deeply breathe.